I don't know how people lived 500 years ago without chocolate, as I can go a day, sometimes a couple hours without eating it. Chocolate was first discovered in the Gulf of Honduras in the early 1500s. Chocolate is made from the fruit of the cocoa tree, but the trees cannot start producing the fruit until they're three to four years old. And it takes them over 10 years before they can start producing the fruit regularly. After the beans are collected and taken to the chocolate factory, the outer shell of the beans are taken out, and the inner part is crushed and, to, and heated to melt the cocoa butter and ground it to make a thick paste. After the chocolate is turned into the thick paste, known as chocolate litter, liquor, but unfortunately no alcohol is contained, <laughs> there are two roads in which the liquor can go through. Either it is to be processed with alkali that will end up as chocolate bars or chocolate cookies, or it is left on a process to become a powder. The powder made can be used in the mixture to make hot chocolate. A hydraulic press is then used to slam the powder that removes most of the fat and cocoa, pot, cocoa butter. The cocoa butter will then be used in the making of chocolate bars and can also be used for medical reasons. But making a chocolate bar can take up to a week. There are more than 20 known types of chocolate, besides a natural chocolate, that takes triple the time to make as it goes through longer processes and also, it is more expensive to make as there are more ingredients that grow in specific seasons and in specific uh, climates that are not found everywhere. The best and most famous chocolate factory is the Willy Wonka Chocolate Factory, also known as Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, where chocolate is made by the Oompa Loompas that dance and sing their way through the processes, and everything they use to make the chocolate are made of either chocolate or candy. I wish I could work there. According to some reports, the largest and the best chocolate producer is America. This, then, in second place comes Belgium, and third place is Switzerland. In my opinion, though, I believe that Belgium and Swiss chocolate are the best. Because when I lived in Belgium four years ago, eight years ago, I visited the Côte d'Or factory, and also, I would only eat that. I sometimes wonder why I love chocolate, and why people tend to be happier when they eat it. Well, research says that when people eat chocolate, they are filled with positivity, and it tends to help people have a better day. So if you want to apologize to your loved ones, give them chocolate. That, for sure, will help you be forgiven at a faster time and a faster rate. Now I'm going to eat my cookie so I can feel better. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>